Containers are everywhere, and now they're part of Windows Server 2019 as well. In this section, we'll be working with Matt as he shows us how to install Docker. After installation, he'll cover downloading container images from Docker Hub and running Docker containers. He'll also show us how to run commands inside Docker containers and how to work with Docker volumes for persistent storage. Last, he'll let us know what's new for containers in Windows Server 2019. We're going to begin this section with how to install Docker on Windows. In this video, Matt's going to walk us through the Docker installation. He'll show us how to use the Docker Microsoft provider to install Docker. Then he'll show us how to validate our Docker install. Now, on to Matt. Thanks, Rob. Let's take a look at installing Docker on Windows Server 2019. The first thing you want to make sure of when installing and working with Docker is that you are running PowerShell as administrator. Now that we're running PowerShell as administrator, the first thing we need to do is install the Docker Provider module from the PowerShell gallery. This module provides the commands for discovering, installing, and updating Docker on Windows. To install the Docker Provider, let's run the install module command. If you're prompted to install the NuGet provider, select Yes to continue. PowerShell will then go out and grab that module from the PowerShell gallery. Once that completes, let's go ahead and install Docker. To install Docker, we'll run install package and specify Docker for the name, and we'll also need to use the provider name parameter to specify the Docker provider that we just installed. This may take a couple minutes depending on your environment. Now that the installation is complete, we will see a warning telling us that a restart is required to enable the containers feature. So let's go ahead and run restart computer. Uh, my disk is getting hit kind of hard right now, so it's just taking a minute to restart. When the server comes back up and we log back in, keeping in mind that we're running PowerShell as administrator, Let's get the Docker service to make sure that the installation was successful. We can see the Docker service is installed, but it is currently stopped. If it is stopped, just go ahead and run start service to start it up. Now that Docker is running, let's run the Docker version command to verify the installation. If Docker is working correctly, you should see some information about the Docker client and the Docker server. I'm currently running version 18.09.2. Now that Docker has been installed, we're ready to start running containers on Windows Server 2019. 